I'm going to show you how to make a drag and drop activity using Google Slides. In part one of this two part series, I showed you how to create a cut and paste worksheet using Google Slides. Now we're going to take that cut and paste worksheet and turn it into a digital drag and drop activity. Let's get started. We're going to start first by duplicating our slide. We're going to use some of the components of the page differently, so we'll need a copy. Then, on that duplicated page, select and delete the set of expressions, or for your activity, whatever options the students have the cutout splits for. What you'll do now is save the top portion of the page as an image. This is so that we can lock the image on the page so students are unable to make changes. You'll want to do this with any parts that you don't want students to be able to move. To save as an image, go to File, Download, then PNG Image. Once that quickly downloads, insert a new blank slide, click the background tab in the ribbon, then select the image of the sections you just saved. Now, part of the worksheet is set and locked as the background and nothing can be altered or modified by students. Unlike this page that does not have a locked background where parts of the page can be moved. Next, you'll insert in the set of options or choices that will be used to drag and drop. You can even copy and paste the cutout slips that you used on your original cut and paste worksheet. Now, students can move each option or choice into the correct section. You may ask, okay, so how can my students actually use this online? I'm going to give you two possible options. With the first option, using these same Google Slides, you're going to go to File, Make a Copy, then Selected Slides. You'll only want the slide or slides that you turn into a drag and drop activity with the locked background image. Next, save it using a name that you'll recognize. Then click Make a Copy. With this copy, you can duplicate this slide for each student and give them the link to this slide deck and assign them a number to work on or label it by their name. But I know what you're thinking. If some students can see other students work while they're working, they may just copy it. Yes, this is a possibility. A second option is to make more copies of this page, enough for each student in your class. So you can make this first copy the original copy. Then when you make copies of the original, you can label each copy by number and again, assign students by numbers or you can label each copy with their name. Yes, this may take a few extra minutes, but consider it similar to printing out copies for each of your students and having to write their name at the top of the page. So then you can email students the links to their page or send out links through your school LMS. Once students have access to their work page, then they can show their understanding for the concept that you created the activity for. This can be done for many more of your meaningful math resources that you create online. Watch this playlist of printable math resources to get more fun ideas.